Sorry for the uh, delay on the video, but we recorded this literally on Old Year's Day. Because? Because we today we're, we're gonna eat the olibola and we're gonna make the apple floppa and all of that. So, yeah. Um, like I already said, we're gonna make olibola today. And apple floppa. <laughs> apple floppa, yeah. They're typical Dutch, so that's why she can't speak it. If you say it in English, it's gonna be oil bowls and apple flaps. I guess. I guess I won't say that. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the olive oil and I'm gonna teach you how to do it and she's gonna do the... Apple flap. <laughs> yeah, uh, apple flap. Yes. So this is, gonna, this is gonna be great. Okay, so get your cooking recipe out there. Get, get your stuff there and say, Mom! I'm gonna make o olive oil. She's gonna be super impressed. Unless you're Dutch, just go to the baker and just buy it at the bakery. Okay. Or the apple flap. All the apple flap, yeah. Okay, so first of all, wash your hands. I just did that. Okay, fantastic. What we're gonna need is we're gonna need 500 gram of flour. Yeah, just nice white flour. We need one egg, we need some sugar, we need 500 milliliters of milk, aka half a liter of milk. We're gonna warm this a little bit up because it came straight out of the fridge. Um, we're gonna need some yeast to rise up the, the, the stuff. We have some sugar and we have an egg and we have some salt. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the milk. We're gonna start with the milk. We're just grab the milk here. Open it, the milk. Mmm, milky. And we need 500 milliliters, aka 50 centiliters, aka 5DL, aka half a liter. Alright, do the math. That was free. Ooh, that's freezing cold actually. That's four. And that's five. Okay, so that's half a liter of milk, half full milk, by the way. Um, I'm putting this in the microwave for a very simple reason that we don't have power in the microwave right now. Power plugs! Good. We do this in the microwave for a very simple reason. Why? Uh, because the yeast needs room temperature or warmer to actually activate, and if you put cold milk in there, it will not work so and we don't we don't need hot milk we just need like when you put your pinky in there your pinky says oh. yeah when it says that it's the right temperature of milk yeah <laughs> all right good the milk stop it we're gonna put the pinky it's the right temperature it's that mm, it's that right temperature moment okay good we're gonna put uh, seven grams of yeast in here uh, this is about 11, so we're going to do a little, slightly more than a half in here. And I always say do this on feeling, okay? So we just put the yeast in there. Is it about half? Nah. A little bit more. See that finger touch, yeah? Just pop, 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 pop. All right. Don't put everything in there, it's going to be too yeasty. Now, the sugar. We're going to take uh, brown sugar, if you want to use white sugar, sure, but this is giving an extra good flavor. We take a big spoon, yeah, and we put four scoops of sugar in there. That's two, three, and that's four, okay? We're going to just mix that a little bit around, just let that be. Just let, just, you know, you just go here, mix it a little bit around, so the sugar is already a little bit dissolving into the milk, yeah, it's like, it's like melting into the normal, lukewarm milk. The yeast is already like, it's, it's already bubbling actually. There's slight little bubbles there. Why? It's because the yeast is activated, okay? So we're gonna just leave this here for now. Then we're gonna take our weight thingy, put this thing on there, and then put it on. If you first put the thing on, make sure that you center it on zero, okay? Don't be stupid. Like, boop, there, and zero. Fantastico. Then take our flour, and I have my, my safe here. I don't know how to say this in English. How do you say this in English? Look it up on Translate, lazy. Safe here. <laughs> and we need 500 grams of flour, so we're going to put it in here. Make it snow, make it snow. Okay. Gonna need a lot more than this. Why you do this is because you take the lumps out. So this is gonna take some time, okay? It's gonna be like a fast forward of me putting flour in a bucket. 
All right, and that's gonna be 500, okay? 500 grams of flour. Two freaking hours later. Holy shit, this is a lot of work, okay? Now the entire workbench is like flour, yeah? Godverdomme, stop giving me, this is the second time it gives me electricity. Jesus, all right. So we now we have our flour without lumps in there, and it's perfect like how you... Now we take a little pinch of salt, yeah? You grab some salt and you just do... Right there, one, two. Little pinch of salt. Not too much salt, why? Because salt will deactivate yeast, so don't put too much in there, otherwise your yeast will not work. Okay? Fantastico. Now we have a very cheap uh, mixing machine here. It was, like, generally very cheap. I think it was literally like 40 bucks or something. Works all great and all fantastic. Uh, we have a hook. Hook. That we're gonna put in here. If you don't have this, of course, an old school mixer will work so don't you worry about that okay we're gonna put this thingy on and slowly and slowly we're gonna put our yeast mix with the milk and the sugar in here until you have some sticky nice dough yes all right I'm gonna put the machine on I literally put the wrong cable in there because I just took the microwave we need more power plugs in this kitchen so, we're gonna put the mixer on. <clears throat> okay, not too hard because otherwise it's, yeah, your mom is not gonna be happy. So we put slowly like the yeast mixture in there. There we go. Let it mix a little bit. At the same time, you can go here at the bottom a little bit because the sugar is still a little bit on the bottom. So just mix it good through your milk. Very good, very nice, yes. Put a little bit more, over there, over there, over there, over there. Very good, very good. Nice. So, let's just, let it just keep going, okay? Just a couple minutes, I'm gonna speed it up. The dough is already a little bit more sticky, it's not so poofy anymore. It's, it's all fantastic. So just let it go for a couple minutes, you know? Let's take its time, give it some love, you know? Yeah, fantastic. I go slightly a little bit harder. And this is the reason why we have a cheap kitchen machine, is because our kitchen machine does this. But I don't care, it's a lovely kitchen machine, okay? Alright, alright. Good. Now that the mixture is quickly there, uh, you can, of course, if you want, you're gonna put some raisins in there. That's all up to you. Somebody in this house doesn't like raisins. So if you want, <laughs> if you want to mix it with some raisins, you put it in there. It's very, very nice also. Uh, put a quick little egg in there and then mix it. Just nicely through that dough until the egg is completely gone. Until the moment that you think, hey, you know, this is about done. It's supposed to look super sticky, okay? It's supposed to look sticky. I know there's like a lot of dough recipes that you're like, Ugh, it looks so sticky, I need to put more flour in there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare to put it in there. It, only bowling are a sticky crap of stuff in my fingers. It's all over my fingers. I don't want to have too much dough on my fingers right now. Then I have to, well, fuck it, actually. I guess, you know what, screw it. Screw it, screw it. Oh, yeah, mm, slippery. Yeah. <laughs> Sticker. <laughs> <laughs> good. We're gonna have this. Uh, what we're gonna do now is, yeah, we're gonna make sure that everything is everything is good. We're gonna put a plastic cover on here, which I just do realize we don't have a plastic cover. So we're gonna take a clean towel. We're gonna make it wet, cover it on the top, put it on a warm place, and then you can do it like that. What we have, personally, my favorite trick is I put my oven on on 50. There's heat coming in the back here of the oven. I put it on there, and it's like. Nice room temperature. If you want to have another trick, if you have a smaller bowl, not a metal bowl, because this is a metal bowl, you can put it in a microwave, put it in, cover it up, and put hot cups of water next to it, and it will also get that good stuff. And we need to put it for an hour away. We have a wet towel ish here, yeah? Just cover it up. Again, you can do it with plastic, but we forgot to buy the plastic now that I literally re remember it. And just put it here at a warm spot for about an hour. 
So at 12.15, we need to take it out of there and we can do the only bulges. But now, ladies and gentlemen, yeah? Like I said already in the beginning of the video, we're not just gonna do only bulges. The camera woman did exceptional work here, but now it's her time to shine. Hello. Hi. Okay, we're first gonna clean up this mess because it looks like a bomb just went off. I love cooking and baking, yeah? Uh, and then I'm gonna help her, this, this lady, never turn you back to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna help you to make upper floppen because you have generally no idea how to make upper floppen. Yeah, I did. I have it. It's gonna be literally, you, n you never even tried it. Also that. And I need to help you. With camera. Okay. Hey, doggy. Yeah, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to the camera. Okay. So, cleaning time. Cleaning time. Okay, we need to clean. We need to clean, definitely. So, now I'm gonna make an uh, apple waffle. So, I mean, I don't know. Apple, <laughs> apple flopping. Fantastic. <laughs> flopping. So, we need. Flopping. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, we need apple and we need. What was the name? Puff pastry. Yes, and eggies and a little bit sugar and cinnamon. Cinnamon, yes, very good. That's now we start with apples. Start with the apples, yep. A nice red apple. Yep. We start cutting in half. Don't run. <laughs> and a half, and a half. More than half. Put it in now. Now we clean it. I don't know how to clean it so nicely. <laughs> I'm mean, not a good clean, you know. Good. Uh, if it's easier for yourself, take a smaller knife. Ah, it's fine. Like that will knife. be my tip. If you can do it with your thumb. Yeah, but I. But the, okay, this is your cooking. That's it's your, that's it's your cooking recipe. Yeah, my my cooking. <laughs> I'm not so good with that. Kids, be careful with the knife, okay? Huh? We d yeah, we don't want to have pictures like of kids yeah. going with three thumbs over. Three fingers in the, in the new year, okay? <laughs> so That's three right. thumbs, that will be a miracle actually. Oh yeah. If you have three thumbs, don't forget to like this video. <laughs> right? Mm hmm How do you say that in Finnish? What that the? middle part from the apple. Guess uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Guess key over. Yeah, okay. I don't, know, I don't know how to say it in English, but you know, all let me say clock house. Okay. Clock house. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's middle, you know. The middle? Yeah, I don't know. Just middle, okay. And apple, I don't know. Apple, with the, apple middle. With the clock house. This thing is. Yeah, with the seeds. You can eat them. We had like a childhood thingy going on that if you eat them, like an apple tree will grow in your stomach. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, we always had that. Indeed. Okay, good. So I start cutting it more smaller because I need to fit in, in here. In yes, in the puff pastry. Yeah. Puff tree. So I need to cut it small, small, small. I'm not so good cutting it. <laughs> okay, how much apples do we need? About three. Three big apples, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just so the people know. Good point. Do yeah. You do, do you know by the magic of editing that when you snap your finger, all the apples are done? <laughs> so now we have all the apples cut. This looks like a lot, but it's okay. We still have ever spare ones because we think it's already enough. Now we need the cinnamon. One spoon, a little spoon. Yeah, tablespoon. Th tablespoon. Cinnamon. Oh, you know Go back. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Hi guys, don't forget to drop a like. Yes, I don't know why I did. Tablespoon of cinnamon, yes. Yes, and mix it together. Yep, mix it together. <laughs> and then a little bit of sugar over there. So it's a little bit more sweet. A little bit like a little sprinkle. Yeah, wait for it. There it is. Yes, there we go. Sugar! I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. <laughs> so, again, normally you can put raisins in here. It's very, very good. Really trust me. 
Uh, if you put raisins in there, you don't have to put sugar in there because they're already sweet, natural sweetness. It, it tastes so good, but... I don't like it. <laughs> What's the epic zoom on your face? I know. <laughs> yeah, you don't like raisins at all. Like, no, I don't. Not at all. Okay, good. That's a good mix. Now we need uh... the... <laughs> the flip-flop. The flap of the apple. <laughs> yeah, the flap of the apple flap. I don't know why. But... <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Alright. So. I think oh, it's a bigger spoon. Bigger spoon, okay. It's your show. It's your show. I'm digging in. Okay, maybe. And then put it nicely in here. Flop, flop, flop. Smells great, though. See, never. I think it's already too much. Yeah? Oh, yeah. never mind then, I'm going more. Then we flip it, flop it, flop it. it. Yep, yeah, we flop it. Like take that? Take a fork, fork, take a fork. I know. Then you just work. Yep. And then meow, put it together. Like that, flap. yeah. The flap yes. Flap yes. See, if you put too much in there, there's already no space, you see? Yeah, indeed. So don't put it too much, I see. No, you see already now. But, whoop, Take nice. it out. Yeah, it's perfect, yeah. Then move it in here. Make sure that you have baking paper, like fat-free paper on the plate, so it doesn't get sticked. And we need eggy. Uh, I would do that on the end, okay. and like all like brushing. Oh, okay, then uh, let's Just, keep going. Okay, yeah. Let's do another one. Just so, for the clip. Yeah. So don't put it too many cats, otherwise you don't fit it, they close it, they flip flop no. it. I think it's a little Bye. You can put some smaller, maybe there. Yeah, a little bit smaller, you're digging in like a couple smaller ones, so it's even having there some. That's why I chop it real good, small. Yeah. And now, flip flop like close. Flip flop close, and then with the work. Close. Really good on the edges. Indeed. Press it like good, so it's good, close. So both the edges are stick to each other. Sorry if I'm a hand away. That's cool. Perfect. So as you see, it's kind of close yeah. everywhere. And then put it in here. We can put it inside there. Fantastic. All right. Voila. But yeah, but the power <laughs> of editing, what happens right now? All right. Now we have everything apples inside there and we flap it and uh, stuck it and I don't know what. <laughs> Yep, pretty All right, good. now we need egg. Egg. With a little feather. feather in there. Because <laughs> it came from the butt from the chicken. Yeah, so we need to put the egg in a bowl. Because we don't want to have it in everywhere. They love the egg. Oh, love it. Hands full of egg. <laughs> Alright, then first this work, right? Yeah. Then we a little bit mix it, open it, this eggy, eggy, how you call it, inside the eggy. <laughs> Watch it. Extra sound effect. You're welcome. That's not me. <laughs> I just want to say, why you say you're welcome? It was me who did it. <laughs> I know. So now we can brush it a little bit uh, eggy top on the pastry. Pastry, pastry, pastry. It's good, buddy. It was a little bit moving, so I was trying to hold it. Like that. Yeah, you do this for two reasons. One, it gets a nice gold brown look on top of the pastry. So that gives a little bit of a color effect. And of course, what else? And we put in sugar in there. So have it more tasty on it. Also, the pastry, it's not yeah. just being, yeah. Bacon. The sugar stays nice and stuck on top of there. E also that. Yes. All right, so, power by editing, all eight. Now we have eggies all the way top on it. And now we take a sugar and we put a little bit sugar top on it. Like little sprinkles, like tiki 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 tiki. From a little bit taste, not put it too much, because otherwise you only taste in sugar. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. We have an oven in 200 Celsius. Yes. And we put it in the middle where something's on the way in there. We need to move it away. Yep. 
So we put this one in the oven and we put it in the middle. I need my... I want to have more sexy... Oh, sexy one, no. I want to have more nicer ones. <laughs> nicer ones. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> sure, okay. Uh, now we put this one into the middle. Voila. And it's about there, uh, 20 minutes to 25, when it's nice and golden and brown. Yes. So 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. Yeah. Yes. And why is it 20 to 25 minutes? Because every oven reacts different on baking. Okay, so have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so gonna leave that in the clip, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna, yeah, yay! Okay, what's next? Now we have our bacon cutter. <laughs> Ready? So we have cook it all in the oven. It's yeah. nicely brown. Yep. Golden brown. Yep. Look at that. Perfect. Good color. Good color. Very good color. Very good color. This one said kickable. Yeah. Hello. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Now we put the second one in there. Second one in there, indeed. Uh, sorry for the noise by now because we put the fry pan on for the Oli Bollen. But for some reason, they're making a shitload of sound right now. So we're like a little bit like, what the fuck's going on? It's gonna explode! Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are your pastries. Let it cool down a little bit. You don't want to touch it yet. Ooh, he's touching it. You're touching uh, it? Yeah, but I have, I have fireproof hands almost. I've been working in the kitchen for about. Um, I love this one. Yeah, it is like. Uh, so, good golden brown. Leave it calm down, and then you can eat them. They're gonna be so yummy in your tummy. So we're gonna make the olive oil by now. The fat is nice and warm on 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, be very careful. It's very hot. It can splash everywhere. Um, it made a lot of noise. The bubbles has been going out, so that's really great. We have here some pastry right now. It has nicely been risen. It has nicely come up, as you guys can see. It is very, very sticky. I know a lot of people being like, it's super sticky, man, is that really good? Yes, it is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we take a table, or like a big spoon, and you're gonna make like a nice big bowl from it. Look at that, look at that, perfect. That's not perfect, it's yes, yep, yep, yep. Fantastic. And you try to make a little bit of a bowl with it. If you have an ice scoop, you can do it with an ice scoop. Uh, that's very handy to do as well, but with the one the ice scoop with a hinge on there We don't have one. We have a normal ice scooper, which is literally still in plastic. We have never used it Before so what we're gonna do is carefully drop it by now Into the oil Please be careful Because you don't want to splash it. It will sink a bit when it's about to get ready. It will go up Let's see if we can make nicer bowls uh, it goes about two minutes each side because you need to flip it halfway around. There we go. I think this looks like a pretty good bowl. Yep, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. And we have something that looks like a bowl. Good. That one is nicely getting golden brown already on one side. It takes about two minutes to each side, then you just need to flip it around. This one, you see immediately they come up, okay? The oil makes sure it comes up. Just have a little bit of a look to it. It takes two minutes, so four minutes in total, until the dough is nicely good, like cooked in the inside. You flip it around, the other side gets nicely cooked, it gets golden brown, and then you have your olive bulge. It's, it's pretty that simple. It's that simple. And then if it's like New Year, you put some music on, you drink a beer, you have some fun, and you just make oil bulges. If you have a very big family, good luck. So you need to make a lot of oil bulges. Now, just flip it around, look, look at that brown, delicious color. It's on there, fantastic, you just flip it around, sink it in there. Doesn't really look like a bowl. This one looks slightly better. It's a little bit more uh, light, so I actually put this one back. So, oh, well, it's now a little bit heavy, so it, we, we have to flip this one still one more time. That one is a little bit too light. That one is going pretty good. So yeah, and, and of course, after a while you get a better technique, you get a better edit, and just have fun, you know? It doesn't matter how they look, they go inside here, and they all come outside here. So, yeah, yeah, right there. It just, it just comes out. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna look in your toilet and be like, 
that was a disgusting looking only ball. You know? So, we're gonna make it like this. And by the power of editing, all of that and this, it's gonna be done. Not again? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Yay! <laughs> okay, so, done. Everything is done. Been a couple hours later. So, these are all the apple flaps. Apple floppies? Apple floppies? Like Wait, stop it. These are the oily bulges. It's very nice with some powdered sugar. I'm a little bit focused, camera. Focus. There we go. With some powdered sugar on there. Mmm, this is so yummy. We have much, much more here. So, we have a lot of food for today. But okay, you're gonna try the apple flap for the very, very first time. You're going for the huge one, I see. She's hungry. Okay. <laughs> Just sunk it in there. It's warm? Oh, it would be so funny. Like, oh. <laughs> I mean, you have already tried the croquette and the bitter ball, so wouldn't be surprised if it's like filled with lava. Pastry? Pastry? <laughs> I need to take a second bite. Oh, you didn't have the cinnamon? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, take a second bite. Oh. Crunchy. Oh. Oh. But, how do you like it? I like it. Yeah? Apple floppies? I mean, a little bit nice with like uh, apple days in there and a little bit of uh, the cinnamon. Like, cinnamon, yeah. Uh, like all is coming like, together nicely. Yeah. Tasting it. Yeah. So you like it? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So the apple flop are a success. Okay, put it, can you put it on a plate? You know, and she's, no, and she's like, oh, you can eat all of this. Have fun. New Year. Uh, Oli Bolt here. We need to have an Oli Bolt success. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> to be on, stay on there. You, you, you need to look like a person from Colombia in the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, that's the. <laughs> now you look like a person like Colombia. <laughs> the white powder all on your nose. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. You like it? Yes. I have to make this joke now because in, in, there's like a debate. I think, I think you can say you have people who want olibola, like this. These are literally olibolen, and we have krentenbolen, and those are olibolen but with raisins. And I think it's like fifty-fifty. Like the country is like yes and no. And of course we have then apple floppies for the people who don't like olibola at all, and we have apple beignets, but that's more from Belgium. And probably if you ever watched this video, he's like apple beignets. Yes, it's very very delicious also, but it's more Belgium, and I wanted to do like a Dutch tradition. Oh wait, I need to focus. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, look at that. It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Well, not oh, yeah. on yeah. some more me. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that puffiness. Look with the powder can, sugar under. Then you can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you change camera. <laughs> Okay, tastes the same too. I don't know how the focus is cut. <laughs> You'd ever be like, full? Hmm. Ah. Hi. No, no. Hmm. Look like a Col Colombian. Hmm. Ah, yeah. So, olive oil. Taste test. <laughs> I still have some in there, yeah. Mmm, that's delicious. I like it. It's very good. I'm, I'm already full. Fuck me. I like it a lot. So, did you like the cooking? I was like the cooking. That's very good. So, peeps, again. So, peeps, again. Uh, we wish you a very good 2022. Yeah, February 22. 22, yes. <laughs> We're still in 2021. What time travel? No, but um, uh, we what we want is to cook more for you. But what would be really funny to leave a recipe down in the description or a link to a website so we can read the, uh, the recipe, and then we will make your recipe in yes. a video and we will taste it and be like, yeah. Ooh. So this is traditional Dutch. Maybe next time traditional Finnish food something. Yeah. And then maybe your food also in a video. So put it down there. Okay. Press the like button. Press subscribe. And of course, bye bye. See you all next time. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey.